in the United States, you don't need to commit a crime to get a visit from the police. You just need to fit the pattern. Predictive policing has become one of the most controversial uses of artificial intelligence in law enforcement. At the center of this are systems like PredPol and HunchLab, algorithmic tools used by dozens of U.S. police departments over the past decade. These systems do one thing, forecast where crimes are likely to occur before they happen. Historical crime reports, time of day, location history, type of past crimes, arrest patterns, seasonality and holidays. From that, the AI generates heat maps of future crime zones. Police are then dispatched to those areas, sometimes even multiple times a day, to deter offenses before they happen. The logic is simple. If we know where crime happened in the past, we can predict where it will happen again. But reality isn't that simple. Because these systems don't analyze the reasons for crime, they analyze patterns of policing. That creates a feedback loop. Police go to the same neighborhoods over and over, increasing the chance of new reports, stops, and arrests, which feeds the system more data to send police there again, and most of those neighborhoods? Black, brown, and poor. This is where predictive policing turns into algorithmic redlining. It doesn't just predict crime, it amplifies systemic bias that already exists in the data. In Chicago, LA, New Orleans, and other major cities, these systems flagged people by name as potential future offenders, based solely on associations, past arrests, or even social connections. No crime required, just data. Several of these systems have now been discontinued or scaled back after massive public backlash and concerns over civil rights. But the tech hasn't disappeared. It's being repackaged, renamed, and redeployed. Inside newer real-time crime centers, mobile policing dashboards, and national fusion data hubs. The idea of stopping crime before it happens has appeal, but in practice, it often means punishing the same people in the same places over and over again. Predictive AI doesn't ask why someone commits a crime. It only predicts where the system expects trouble and who looks like a threat. The question isn't just about efficiency, it's about whether we're building a justice system or an automated suspicion engine. This is Virtu Damas.